plaintiff, Shamika Williams, was best friends with the defendant until the defendant assaulted her. Shamika claimed she called the police and the defendant was arrested. And Shamika suing because she claims the defendant put sugar in her gas tank. Defendant Michelle Williams says the reason she and Shamika got in a fight is because she caught her boyfriend at Shamika's house with another woman. Michelle denies owing for the car because she claims Shamika was speaking badly about her unborn child. All right, start with you. Well, I've been knowing Michelle for about 10, 11 years. You know, we were best friends at a point of time. Um, she just got a real bad attitude. You know, like if she get mad at anybody, you know, she want to kind of like take it out on you. Um, on oh, me? Like, well, take it out on me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she want to like take it out on me and me and her get to arguing and stuff like that. Um, she had got into it like what, like with her boyfriend before and she called the police on him and I didn't want her to have the police come to my house. Um, so Why are you doing wrong? No, I'm not doing wrong. She just, you know. Why you didn't want the police to come then? Because she, her boyfriend. To see it? No, her boyfriend was over there, but it was just like, don't send him to my house. I don't want him over my house. You know, so she sent them over there and then she came over after they had left or whatever. And we started talking outside. She was like seven months pregnant at the time. And um, she kind of like pushed me in my face or whatever. <laughs> so she pushed me in my face. I called the police. I got her locked up. Um, she was up, locked up probably like a couple of hours. Um, they let her They let her go. Um, I actually dropped the charges and good. we were, you know, we got back friends, you know, cause I, you know, I when got a good this heart. Happen? This was like in 2014. Okay. Yeah, so we resumed our friendship, you know, um, cause I don't really hold on to grudges and stuff like that. And, you know, she was my only friend. and. Joliet, you know, so it's just like it, it. Our friendship just was going down the drain, you know. Like it was really nothing like to get it back to where it was because it always was something, you know, with her bad attitude and how she tried to question her, uh, question my loyalty, you know, being her friend. So, give me some background. I've been known Shamika for thirteen years, and out of thirteen years, I've been like. To me, her bestest friend, like when she get into it with her guy, um, you know, mess with other women, I like confront the ones that he mess she he messes with. Yeah, because she be too scared to like say anything to him, so she'll call me crying. You went to jail. Excuse me, can I say? I just, I just <laughs> Listen, don't. I'm you got finished. a reputation around town. I was wondering why they would lock up a pregnant woman like that. But the reason why I went to jail because I ended up found out. Because you like to fight. No, let me Even tell you. Even when you're pregnant, you're trying to fight somebody. I wasn't trying to fight. The reason why because I found my boyfriend laid up in her house with her friend. So that was well, that hurt. So why are you taking you it know? out on her? Because she allowed it. She allowed it in her house. She didn't know what they were you going know, to do. When she let them in the house, she knew that she they were messing around. thought they were around. going to play cards or read no, the Bible. Oh, well, what I seen <laughs> through, no. That's what he told y'all. That's what they told you. Say, no, can yeah. Our, you know, can we mm -mm. go up here and have our little prayer meeting? They was messing around. In your room. They, they were Bible study then. <laughs> but that wasn't no Bible study, though. And then I loved Shamika, so it was like, you know, it didn't matter. I just the type of yeah, friend I was. confronting folks. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. That sounds a little immature also. You yeah, seem more mature but she than should that. be able to defend herself and she couldn't, so I defend but her. I don't, Why do you have to fight said. anyway? Why do you have to confront someone well, anyway? I, I didn't fight them. I was just saying something Oh, cool. yes, you are. You're confronting people. You're opening yourself up to a fight. Yeah. I know you come to me about somebody else. I'm so what you got to do with this? I don't even know. You better get out of my face. Mm -hmm. Not with your little temper, you are gonna say something slick and reckless. And then you'd have been back in jail. Yeah. But I didn't touch her, though, so. In 2014, this fight where you did go to jail, that's what you're referring I to? I didn't you touch never her. touched her? No. She, Police. she muzzled What me. happened was, like, because... She muzzled me, but, you know, she put her hand in my face. <laughs> and I, I called the that's police not... on her, and I told them my you story. You did, right? And they, they locked right. her. She did do right, because the, my boyfriend, because he was, like, you know, violent, that... Uh, because he was so used to me putting him in jail for him putting his hands on me that Shamika, he told Shamika to do it because I always put him in jail. Yeah, a whole so, culture of violence. You're but they, they gave me a bond out, whatever. I just was there for like two hours and left. So, so your boyfriend violent towards you, you violent mm. toward other people. Got it. Mm. Let me hear about the damaged property. Um, so we were having like a gift exchange at the job. We both worked together. 
Has she ever jumped on anybody? At <laughs> no, one? but she went off on a, a lot of people. No, you know, I she did just, not. she be she be snapping on people up in there. No, uh, no. <laughs> she do. So like scary. we had a gift exchange like December twenty second, and one of my coworkers like we real cool, you know, and we had already like negotiated that we were gonna go over the limit for the gift exchange or whatever. So I pulled you know his <gasps> name, and I went over the limit and I bought him like some nice things or whatever. So, like, all of us, like, gathered around, you know, and exchanged gifts and stuff like that. And when he started pulling out the gifts, like, and, you know, everybody see the gifts, she just blurted out, like, I'm telling your man, that ain't your boyfriend, and you, uh, you doing too much, and this, that, and the other. So, it kind of, like, it was embarrassing, and it kind of, like, made me mad, because it's just, like, what he got, he know about this already. What are you telling him for, you know? So, um, she called him and she told him, so me and her head got into it. You know, we were, we got into it real bad, you know, going back and forth on Facebook, uh, Messenger, through messages. Uh, we didn't really talk too much on the phone, you know. She was doing a lot of threading and stuff like that. And I had went and uh, got my hair done. I was going to the gas station and I put the, like it was, it had snowed that day. So I'm looking at my car like, okay, well maybe it's just snow, but I noticed there was sugar. So I automatically knew it was her. You know, and I called her and tried to confront her about it or whatever. And she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's my daughter's birthday. You called me with this garbage, yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, okay. Um, left it alone because we work together. You know, I'm not trying to jeopardize my job and lose my job and none of that. So I just left it alone and just let it play all out or whatever. So one of my coworkers had told me about, you know, pursuing it, you know, to where we at right now. I did. What do you say? Um, about the sugar in the tank. Well, after that incident, what we had, what happened at my job, uh, Shamika said some hurtful things. Yeah, you go. Me. Before the incident, before the sugar, the reason why I did that is because she said something about my unborn child. Mm -hmm. I was pregnant, and she knew I was having complications in my pregnancy. So it was upsetting. So, but you got a healthy boy, though, right? It don't matter. You should have said I nothing to me at all. I still have to pay $300 to get my car fixed. Care, yeah, you're going to jail at some point. All. all you do is react in violence. In this case, because you didn't like what she did or like what she said, mm -hmm. you damaged her car in a way that could have ruined the entire engine. $300 is your judgment. Have a good day. Thank you. Judgment for the plan. I mean, you know, it's been over a year. We still gonna, you know, uh, com conversate. You know, we still gotta work together. You know, it's settled, it's done and over with. I'm glad I won and it's swept under the rug. I have nothing to say. <laughs>